Guys, this is uh, Palm 4 Pro Box Respect. I'm here with um, the former British Light Welterweight Champion, my brother, uh, personal trainer, um, great, great guy, Darren Hamilton. Darren, how are you, brother? Good, good. Add, add to it, philosopher, rapper. Preacher, Everything, exactly. Preacher, entrepreneur, preacher, entrepreneur, preacher of, of the model, minister, minister of the of soul. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, just in case you didn't know, this is probably going to be a bit more freestyle. Um, Darren's kindly uh, given me uh, some of his time just before his fight. Darren, you're uh, you're fighting in what a couple of hours from now? Couple, yeah, a couple of hours. Maybe it was like an hour and forty. Minutes. Okay, yeah. hour and forty minutes. How are you feeling? I feel amazing, man. For good, yeah, for good, for good. Just, 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 done, just, just train hard, um, train hard, and not, and not, ha and not have to diet. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, it's like my, it's like my sparring is crazy. It's like, yeah, how much rounds I can, you know, how much rounds I'm, I'm, I'm knocking out now. Well, you look great. How's the uh, how's the uh, training? How's the camp been for this fight, mate? For you, has different, it been good? It's different. Yeah, it's different. It's mad. It's different. It's like it's like fighters fighters are delusional, and, and the delusional has kicked in. With the, yeah. Because uh, obviously I've not trained like I'm training for a twelve round fight. Yeah. But then when I'm training, I'm doing stuff to people, and I'm, and I'm, and, I'm, and I'm, you know I'm doing different stuff in the gym, and I'm, and, I'm, and I'm and I'm doing stuff. Technically now, which I was like, I should have done that fight, fight three yeah. before. I start thinking, wow, make a comeback. Da, da, da. Yeah. And then that, that delusion always kicks in, and obviously then. I'm so just, the, I'm, just, I'm just saying, I'll be the, you know, I don't want, I don't want to feel delusional like that. But that's how great the training camp has gone. Is that it's made me feel quite delusional, thinking that yeah, bro, I could probably you know make another comeback in the, in the pro ranks. Sure, sure. Here you, as as per your t-shirt, mate, you're fighting on Bad Boy Promotions. Uh, yeah. Going to give yeah. a big shout out to Chrissy Morton, yeah, 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 amazing yeah. lady, yeah, uh, and she's a friend of ours as well. Yeah, yeah. So, how come this fight, mate, is uh, just the four rounds? We have got time scale, time scale. Mm -hmm. Easier for me as well. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you you easy. look like you can do twelve rounds, yeah, bro. Too easy. But. Yeah, that's, that's nothing to me. It's just, just this time scale. Getting on, getting on the time scale. Just got to think about that, about the show as well and stuff. And um, yeah, man, it's like to say that. You know, make it history. I see some yeah. people when they talk as well. Because people are afraid to be what they want to be. Does yeah. make sense? Um, I've already broke that barrier when I said to myself, I've had my own spiritual be uh, beliefs and, and, and reasons for doing certain things. That's why yeah. I wear a purple, that's why I wear a top hat. Yeah. And, you know, that already shows my character that I, yeah. don't, I don't do shit what you think is cool. I do what I think is cool. Exactly. I do my own shit. That's your colour as well, purple. Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah. Um, you know, I came up with rapping, I came up with doing whatever, whatever I wanted to do. People said, oh, that's sick, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do what I want to do. I'm, I am a pioneer, I cannot be controlled. That's so why I don't box. You can do whatever you it's want. The boxing is the British boxing board of control. Yeah. You don't control me. So yeah. it makes sense. I control whatever I want to do. If I want to, if I want to Good man. That's why I like Tyson Fury. And he yeah. thinks, like, fuck it, I'm going to do this. Bam, does it. Do like, <laughs> he like, does. Yeah. yeah he's, he's a character. Favorite, he's my favorite person in boxing. I do believe we need more Tyson Furies. And I'm he's, just, I think I'm just a mini version of Tyson Fury. Yeah. He's good for the sport, mate. Through all that Curtis football house fight, the kind of things you see me do was what I was thinking stuff like that. Yeah, I was thinking that dress up, come dress up as something. So, come, do you think everything happens me. for a reason, then, yeah, bro? Everything happens for a reason. I'm here. Yeah. I'm, 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 I was put here to. I was put here to, to show you lot here yeah, that you could do it. Yeah. I, I was. Yeah. I, was I, come, I was put here to show you you lot that we're training hard. Yeah. That me, I didn't even have to train as hard as you, and I come and I still done it and made a name for myself. Yeah. Does that make sense? Um, Don't. And then now, and now I'm just, I'm now I'm just at Excel and something else. Exactly. But, um, back to what I was saying about being a pioneer. I'm a pioneer because now, whereas people think, oh no, how could you do that? How could you fight on a white collar show for 14 minute rounds and you're a top pro? Well, yeah. because I want to. Yeah. Does that make sense? And because sure. I don't want to be, I don't want to be controlled by anyone. I don't want to be controlled by uh, their matchmaker who's calling me at last minute to fight Tyron Nurse. Of course. Does that make sense? Of course. Don't want to fight me for a week's notice. Yeah. Dave Ryan don't want to fight me for a week's notice. Yeah. No one wants to fight me. No one, put, no one calls my name like I don't exist. Yeah. So at the end of the day, rather than be used by boxing, yeah. and I will leave boxing and say, okay, ta-ta, bye-bye, do my own thing, because at the end of the day, I control my own destiny. Yeah. To be honest, mate, I, I agree with that, because I've never actually, social media, anything, I've never heard people, any other boxer call you out. <laughs> so they're, they're, obviously, uh, yeah. they're obviously scared or, yeah, yeah, yeah. not scared so much, but you know, don't they- Don't need me, yeah. don't need me. And if I was, if I was, a, if I was a conventional style fighter, yeah. and I understood about boxing, because yeah. you're the only people that don't understand me, the people that don't understand boxing. Yeah? True. So when you don't understand boxing, you go, oh, you look shit. Da, da, da. Of course, I got that fucking amazing sugar rate style. Yeah. But if you understand boxing, you go, oh, I don't want it. That's yeah. why I rate Lenny Dawes. Lenny Dawes yeah. said, no, nah, I don't want, I don't need Dan Hammond. Sure, sure. You know, he took some next route. He said, oh, fuck it, I'm going to Europe. Don't need Dan Hammond. 
views and, and if you guys don't know Darren's a sick rapper by the way so <laughs> he, if we get a chance he might do a couple of a uh, yeah. couple of lyrics on yeah. here Bill. Yeah. <laughs> but you know to fighters I'm the best fucking rapper yeah. in boxing you know what I'm saying Joshua's been spit too fast so. Darren for some people don't know um, obviously I, I trained with you for a couple of years mate mm. you was the British lightweight yeah. champion big up for yeah. that as well yeah, yeah. you be Ashley Theo Payne for that title, who recently fought Adrian Broner. Oh, yeah. How do you go from preparing yourself for, for a fight like that, of that yeah. magnitude, to sort of, you know, your last pro fight? How, how do you do it? Do you have a different mindset, or, or what happens, or do you just prepare think, for yeah, it? I think your mindset is different. I think your mindset yeah. is completely different. It has to be. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, it's mad, though, because my biggest fight... I'm probably different though, because the bigger the fight for me, the, yeah. the, 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 the more relaxed I am. Yeah. To make sense. Yeah. Um, you know, actually, for some reason, didn't look that relaxed in the fight. I don't know. He looked like he looked like, bro, I'm fighting Adrian Rowan. I mean, if I was fighting Adrian Rowan, I'd treat it like I'm not fighting Adrian Rowan. It's like, oh, <laughs> just fighting like, some random nothing, guy. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm one of them kind of guys that's got nothing to lose. I can and see I, you do that yeah, actually. Yeah. yeah. You, and if you see, if you see the fight, with me actually feel for him in that fight. I didn't look that worried. Yeah. I look, probably looked the less worried I've ever been. I remember yeah. I was ill, I was sick as a dog. So how the fuck can I get through 12 rounds? Because I wasn't bothered. Yeah. Because I was like, right, I'm not even going to even be here. Yeah. Do you know what I make mean? sense? I'm not even supposed to even last two rounds. Yeah. Do you know what I make mean? sense? Even if I go 12 rounds or 10 rounds and he stops me in the 10th, man, I still say, Darren Hamilton, he's up there. Yeah. Does that make sense? I'm not yeah. even be there. Because you had nothing to lose, right? To lose. Everything to gain. Everything to gain. Yeah. And, and obviously, if I was fighting against, if the mindset of going in with Adrian Broner, I'd have to keep, I'd have to keep ridding the thought that I'm fighting Adrian Broner. That's what you were actually fear thing. I had to keep, I had to keep erasing the thought. Like I took my, took my phone off. I didn't want anyone to contact me. Yeah. I didn't want, I didn't want, to, I didn't want, to, I didn't want to face reality that I'm fighting on Sky. I'm yeah. Like, fuck! I've never fought on Sky before. Yeah. I've only watched Sky. Yeah. So I'm fighting on Sky. And I'm ill, and I'm fighting for a British title. Wait a minute, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm Southern Area champion. I didn't even think I was going to get a British title shot until like three, two years down the line. I'm getting it five days notice. None yeah. of this is happening. Yeah. So I just have to keep erasing it like this ain't happening. Like, I'm not fighting for this. Yeah. And, and, and then that, that made me relax. Like, you know, it, 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 lying to myself. It, yeah. I'm good at lying to myself. Very yeah. good, lying to myself a lot. But, but, that, um, yeah. but Darren, not everybody knows this, but you've yeah. come from quite a tough background. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, again, big up to you mate because you've come from without going into it too much but you were at one point living on the streets okay yeah yeah um you know um got yourself through the gyms mm. um you know probably different sponsors yeah. but you got back into boxing that 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 saved you right yeah, 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 yeah. that got you back in that's what's remarkable about my story yeah um, sometimes i got slapped myself in the face because sometimes i really uh, bad mouth boxing but, but boxing fucking saved my life of course yeah I, w I went off the rails and i said nah i've got to leave bristol i was getting into so much bad trouble i get a lot of trouble and stuff and i left bristol and i said well i want to change my life i just want to be a personal trainer and obviously yeah. the only place where i could reside was a boxing gym yeah so where these people are trying to box i'm running away from boxing saying fuck me it's here <laughs> money did it end up finding the only place where i could reside is a boxing gym so destiny has told me that boxing and boxing for you boxing ended up changing my life and it's funny because now i don't want to box now again i'm running away Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't draw me back in again. Hopefully, you know, hopefully you don't turn around. Cause well, because if they turn around and say some shit like, "Oh, oh, oh," would you fight Ashley Fair for him for like? I was just going to say 50, that actually. Like Fifty thousand, yeah, hundred thousand, two days notice, five days notice. I am a street person. You tell me, show me the money, and I'll do anything. Of course, mate. Yeah. Listen, you you're just yeah. like most people. You yeah. you you've got bills to pay. You've got, bills you got to kids. I got bills to pay, and I, I already said that. So yeah. I said, show me the money. I said, what, 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 no one don't want to talk money. Anyone don't want to, anyone don't want to talk peace, don't let any guy talk money. No, no one don't say, when you start saying that, when you do that, wow. Okay, when you start talking that money, 50 grand, 100 grand, yeah, I will, all right then, I have no word of a lie. Look at, look at my face. If someone said to me tomorrow, yeah, yeah. if I, Golovkin, yeah? Yeah. Golovkin, that's G, G, G. Yeah. Pound for pound. Pound for pound. Yeah. For two million. Yeah. I'll do it for one million. Of course. Tomorrow I'll do that. Yeah. Does that make sense? Glock, can you hearing this, buddy? So I'll still in Kelbrook. No, 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 no. I'm, 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 look, look at my eyes. Look how serious I am. I'm, yeah, I'm absolutely. Serious. Yeah. Do you know what I'm going to get home? I'm not, I'm not here to chat shit. Yeah. Told man straight stand I told him what I'm ready for. If you, yeah. If you, if you pay me that bound, I'll fight anyone in the world for that. Kind absolutely. Of absolutely. And I'm not fighting lay down. I'll go there and I'll go to turn my turn, turn over. And, I, and I'll probably, going to probably, fight. It probably won't even look that good. Do you know why? I'm probably just do this whole fight. <laughs> and it's been awkward the whole time it's been awkward and hold him and grab him and, and then just spoil him and, and he, just, he just hate it but you know Darren you know after many years yeah. there's a lot of people out there 
yeah. um, fans, bo- boxing pundits, yeah. they now appreciate your style, mate. Yeah, so it I'll isn't conventional, it isn't conventional, but, but it works, mate. Listen, and it has worked. Listen, in my lyric I said, I said, it's only when I'm gone that they realise who the realest is. Yeah. I never ducked no one. Anyone that said my name, I Very put true. that name on my killing list. Yeah. Avoiding fights and boxing should be prohibited. That's why the fighting inside me so calls Curtis a little bitch. <laughs> nice one, nice one. Yeah. That was supposed yeah. to be your uh, the end bit. But listen, I think you've, uh, you, you know, the, the final question I was going to ask you, and I think yeah. you probably answered it, was, is this your last fight, mate? Because there's many people out there who like don't said, want to see you retire, bro. Me no, included. Everyone does it. Everyone keeps trying to draw you back in. Like I said, money talks and bullshit. That's the drug I'm out of. Okay. So when you start talking to P, yeah. I, I, let's not get realistic, r- r- ridiculous and start talking millions. Yeah. Just start talking anything over 20 grand. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So over, anything, over 20, any, anything over 20 grand, I keep myself reasonably fit. Yeah? Yeah. Usually fit. I'm starting to enjoy my fitness now. Anything over 20 grand, yeah? Short notice, if you're watching this, boom. <laughs> any fucking person in the, anyone, do you know what I mean? Anyone in Britain, does that make sense? Because I'm telling you this, even even the people, the level of people I'm sparring with, ain't top level people, but it's awkward shit. Yeah. And I know, I know my style will twist anybody in the world. Darren, I know you got more respect than this. Uh, I've, I've never seen you talk down about any other fighter or call them out. But if I could put you on the spot and you could name one fighter, yeah. say your next fight, who would you who would you like to fight? Wow, that's deep, you know? Because I don't segregate no one. Anybody can get it, bro. Any colour, any creed, any size. But I'd love to turn over Say, say at 140 pounds. I'd love to turn over Tyrone. 140 pounds. Who, who would you fight? Who would you fight? Tyrone Like I said to you, I'd love yeah? to turn over Tyrone Because that's, that would be for something. And I know it's a fight I can win. I kept telling him I could beat man. Okay. That makes sense. But like people only realise now after I said I said, listen, look, people on my Facebook page, it's like they they they, they that I said to them, who's the first person they said can turn me over? I was like, oh, are you being serious? So that's a hype job. <laughs> so the other woman, I forget his name. He came up, they signed him to match him, they made a big deal about him, he's got some old man face, he gets old, but he's not old. And they and they brought that French guy over from Finny but he, he boxed him and turned him over. And he yeah, and he had yeah. head button. What's his fucking name? What's his fucking name? Um, they signed him to Matthew. <laughs> signed him didn't fight no one. Oh, fuck. Me. I can't remember. Right, yeah. This you, yeah. This you, everyone on, oh, on Facebook was talking about this you. I said, this is shit. They brought, the, they brought the French guy over. Yeah, the French guy beat him. Some shit French guy, something whatever it is. I'm lying where his name is. And beat him, beat him, knocked him down, beat him. Guy put a bet on himself, beat the guy. Okay. Right? I said to man, I could beat Tyrone Nurse. Man, argued me, telling me, oh, Tyrone Nurse, that'd be the hardest fight in life. I said, you being serious? Ado Anwar used to toy with Tyrone Nurse. Beat him like he's his gap. Beat him up. You did. Yeah? You did. I said. I said. Listen. I, I'll turn this guy over. I want him now. The guy I was working with said. 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 Barry Smith, who I was training at the time, said, "Don't fight fucking Tyrone." Nelson. Yep. I said, "I will eat Tyrone Nelson's food. I will beat him. He looks like fucking George Biggs. I will beat him <laughs> till he looks like Darth Vader. <laughs> that, that ugly boy beat him. Fuck that. Listen. I told. I said, told man that straight. What happens? The guy who I beat ridiculously easy. People go star Biggs fights. Fuck that shit." Yeah, I beat Dave Ryan easy. Dave Ryan won't even fight me for five days. Don't no, ask him. Go yeah. ask him. He would rather fight John Wayne Hibbert on 13 weeks notice than fight me with f- on five days notice, six days notice, ten days notice. That's how dangerous I am. Does that make sense? And yeah. Dave Ryan turned over Tyron Nurse. And I ended Ado Anwar's career. And Ado Anwar beat up Tyron Nurse. I beat him up in sparring. So who's, who, who's the dad? Who's the daddy of the game? You are, buddy. I'm still Listen, British champion. You you are. You I'm are. still British champion. You are. Do you know what I'm And Tyrone Nurse only called my name three days before a fight when he knows I'm not training. Well, listen. Yeah. Peace. Let's, you know, Daryl Settlefield, um, that's the fight today. Wishing you all the best, bro. Listen, you're you're a great guy. You're a real guy. Um, it's It's been a great honour to, to train yeah. under you as well, mate. So, Thank listen, you so wishing nothing but the best. Thank you so much. Um, and uh, let's see what happens in this fight, mate. And then uh, bigger and big, bigger, better things. So, like we said, it was all freestyle, so appreciate your time. Thank you. Um, any last shout outs, bro? You're just want to say, um, just watch out for me. Yeah. Like I said, I don't know. I keep getting this, little, this feeling that it's not the end of the story. But my story, remember, it doesn't have to be about boxing. Tell sure. You, something is starting to brew. Yeah. yeah. You're going to see me again. You're going you're gonna to bang on your television and you're going to see me on TV doing some shit. You're going to be like, what the fuck? This nigga here again? <laughs> well, I'm back. Yeah, I'm listen, back. We're, we're all rooting for you. You know, there's a lot of people who think you're a great guy. I'm one of them. And I'm rooting for you. So I hope you do, bro. So peace, uh, peace out. Peace. Bye.